Oh, now I'm trembling with fear. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe you're a lone killer stalking overworked stage managers sending ripples of fear through the theater and fashion communities. Oh, the horror of it all. <laughs> no, really. While you may very well be lovely enough to be a model, I know for a fact that I did not hire you for this evening's show, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. It's bedlam back here, and I can't have you adding to the chaos. Clear? Clear? Oh, well, there's something so reassuring about your apathy. <laughs> You're someone after my own heart. But, unfortunately, I can't chuck all of this fame and fortune to come party with you. <laughs> okay, well, and now that I'm all warm and tingly, what am I supposed to do about it? <laughs> do you have some specific reason for bothering me? No, let me guess. You're a reporter for Vanity Fair, and you've come here to do a big feature on me, right? Let me see if I understand this correctly. You plan to disrupt my life, is that it? Uh, you know I could kill you. It wouldn't be my first. I'd just dump your body in that laundry chute over there. Nothing simpler. I'm scaring you, right? <laughs> Thanks, love. Ciao. I'm glad you understand. Now do me the big favor and take a little trip to the other side of the door that you just came in. Will you do that for me? No, 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 I no longer, no, 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 I cannot have you prevaricating, vacillating, or salivating in front of me anymore. I no longer have the luxury of time to debate this issue with you. Please take it out of here or I will be forced to contemplate unseemly and aggressive behavior. Now that's a tempting offer, and you're a dear for asking, but as a consummate professional, I must graciously decline. <laughs> but just tell me one thing, is it just heaps of fun out there? I know that. What do you think? I'm some sort of chimp? Oh god, that reminds me. You're gonna have to go. I'm not kidding. Nathan! Yes, I've got bad news. You know, well, that animal act you sent over, it went AWOL. Yeah, I, I know. I know! <laughs> well, that's not going to help me now, is it, Nate? No. <laughs> well, I don't know. The, the, the monkey got a whiff of the deli tray, the, the boa grabbed the makeup girl by the ass, and the next thing I know, the whole menagerie is moving its way towards the fire escape. I never knew those iguanas moved so quickly. You know, sure, sure, and the last time I looked, you were about half the size and twice as hairy. I gotta go. <laughs> Are you still here? Look, maybe I'm not making myself understood. Go now! Well, do you know all about my rare parrot collection? <laughs> my childhood trauma with the turkey baster, uh, my ABBA infatuation? <laughs> well, I bet you've interviewed all the famous people. <laughs> I don't think you have a good conception of just how much danger you might actually be in. What do you think, I'm some sort of weak-kneed artiste without a muscle in my body? I'll have you know I'm toned, I'm trimmed, and I'm cruel when I want to be. And right now, you're going to get lucky. You're going to live. <sighs> what a night. What the hell am I doing here? I, I could have been a sculptor. I would have been great. I might have been happy. Put me through to Mandy. Hi there, it's me. Yeah, yeah, it's going fine. I quit. Well, I don't give a damn. He can rot in hell. Yeah, are we having fun yet? <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Go now, please. Well, I'm proud of you for admitting it, but it would give me way too much pleasure to throw you out of here on your ass if I had to. Be off with you. Hi, Jay. No, it's total hell. Yeah, Vito's a jerk, the models are stiffs, the bookings are a joke, the schedule's a complete botch job, and I've got a PMS migraine like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I want you to come pick me up. Well, that'll keep. Well, you can tell him that I think his collage is stink and that he has no business keeping you there this late. No, I'm quitting. Oh, he won't even notice. He's so full of it, no one else has any. Okay?
Bye. Are you still here? This is not a doctor's office, although a thorough medical examination could be arranged. Well, I guess I'm kind of sorry I'm missing all the party and all, but someone's got to keep all the crap back here from spilling out into the hall and soiling all the hoi polloi. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've really got to get back to work. You're really going to have to go now. <laughs> you remind me of a good friend I had from many years ago. I'm no longer with us, I'm sorry to say, but uh, you got the same sense of humor. I remember one time... We ran out on stage during one of the big chorus scenes in Les Miserables. To this day, I still wonder if anybody in the audience noticed the two French peasants with the Maplethorpe t-shirts. <laughs> Those are great times. We fished on the Rhine. We swam in the Nile. Now look at me. Look, what in the hell is wrong with you? Are you some kind of psychopath, some twisted nightcrawler lurking the back rooms of trendy fashion parties, waiting for some kinky clothes horse to buy into your dementia? Are you gonna leave? You know, your type really burns my ass. You're ridiculous. You know, you think you throw on the right clothes, you put on the right smirk, and you can just do anything you like. Like, God stamp your face with some permanent backstage pass. It's a joke, right? You know, I think it's time for you to leave now. I know, I know. <laughs> Thanks. I do the best with what I've got. And sure, it could be worse. I could be waiting tables for that bastard Plato's joint. Or I could have taken that job with that dance company from Moose Jaw, and right now I'd be doing Brecht and Lumberjack Drag. Or I could have taken that PA job with that guy from Vancouver. Right now I'd be doing art direction for Hollywood pictures and living on the beach and pulling in six figures and... Oh, God! I don't deserve the breaks I've missed. I don't. I don't. Oh, no, you've got me talking. I've missed it. They'll be terrible. It'll be a disaster. Like, get out. Now. I don't deserve all the breaks I've missed. Don't. I don't. You've got me talking and I've missed it. They'll blow it! It'll be terrible! Get, get out! Get out! Now! Get out! No, they didn't show up. Y yes, it was a featured act. You know, th that's right. It was a whole circus thing with the contortionists and chainsaws and, you know, those guys swinging things from body parts. You know, well, I thought you were supposed to be booking this stuff for me. Well, <laughs> I don't care how inflamed it is. You could at least make a few phone calls. Well, yeah. I'm filling with a whole lot of local stuff. Well, I thought you and Vito had a relationship. Well, yeah, well, I hate him too, but this is business. Like, I've got to go. Yeah, well, the same to you, and I hope it festers. I'm up to my naughty bits in the most insanely organized show I've ever been involved with. Two minutes to my next runway catastrophe if I don't get back there and hold their wet little hands, and I have no idea who in the hell you are supposed to be. Now, how do you think that makes me feel? No, no, I tell you, I couldn't believe it. No, 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 I'm not kidding. She was actually wearing it with the hanger still in it. She thought it was some sort of high-tech statement. What? Just a minute. No, 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 no. You are nothing but a distracting and disruptive influence on what is already a disastrous and destructive situation, and I can see that I'm going to have to lock this door no matter what the fire marshal has to say about it. Goodbye. <laughs> that you would have the unmitigated goal to show your face back here again. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out! Get out! Surely you must lack some sort of basic communication skills. I'm not being the least bit obtuse in all of this.